Yep. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. You take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So you was just talking about something? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay. Let's hold up here. Hold. So, the wagon will be coming from that. Wait. Down from Annisburg? It'll take the two of us to stop it completely or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs>
All right. Let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice drunk plane. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Yeah, I know. Just never goes easy no more, does it? your folks so we can rob some dynamite blow up a bridge this make any sense to you it's a distraction so it ain't meant to make sense but it should to us it's our plan you know I've had it with a moment look there's Mike up ahead great Got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Yeah. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and, uh, you find me irritating, and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Have a seat, Arthur. Take your mind off. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. 
I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way. Hmm. 
Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am... Your men are a little more than criminals, in my opinion. <laughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. The federal government sure. Wait here. Situation. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all. And that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. You don't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. You son of a bitch. Think about what you're doing. Don't be dumb. Open fire. Ow! Ah! 
do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> Get 
Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> 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 What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy, well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Happy to assist you in a moment. for a clean slate.